Hey guys, Jordan here, and today we're gonna to be going through all of the software that I use for my social media marketing agency. So we're gonna jump on the Mac, but two things before we do. Number one, a quick hair transplant update for you guys. As you can see, it's growing through thick and fast at the moment. I don't know how well camera's gonna pick that up, uh, but I'm dead happy. It's growing a little bit sprouty at the minute. When you first, when it first starts to grow through, it grows like bolt upright, which is happening at the minute. It's a little bit untamable, so apologies for the, the sprouty look. Um, but over the next couple of weeks, it's gonna start falling more naturally. I'll be able to pull it forward, which I'm looking forward Forward to. I'm about five or six months in for those of you who are interested and I'm over the moon. Um, number two is a little bit of student success to share. I've been meaning to, to upload this video or share this on my YouTube channel for a couple of weeks now. One of my students sent me a video and just wanted to let me know about how he was getting on. It's always really great to hear about my students' uh, success and about their progress. Obviously, I hear about it in the group all the time, but it's nice to receive personal videos of how they're getting on. Um, so instead of talking about it, I'll just show you the video he sent me. He's done a really good job. I think he signed up to the course in early October, quit his job by the end of October, and I think he's now on like five or six thousand a month. I think at the stage of this video, he um, he just signed up another client for three thousand pounds a month. So really, really great work. His name is Lewis. Uh, let me just show you this. Hi, Jordan. Um, I just wanted to make this quick video really just to say thank you. Um, I bought your course at the start of October, um, really because I was interested in social media and I really didn't want to work in that until five anymore. Anyway, moving forward, at the end of October, I now own my own social media marketing company called Social Individuals. Um, I can't really put into words how much how much your course and, and you uh, have helped me throughout this time, really. I left my job at the end of October as soon as I started my company with one client on a £1,000. I've now just signed a new client today worth £3,000, so my monthly retainers at the moment is on £4,000. Oh, what have I done? Oh. Yeah, it's just a quick video really, just to, to say to say thank you to you and to, to say to anyone watching that you can achieve what you want to achieve if you put the hard work in and the dedication, you will get there. So yeah, thanks Jordan. Okay, cool. Apologies for the autofocus there. I could see that it was really struggling to keep up with that. I've actually bought another lens for that exact reason, which is coming tomorrow. Um, but anyway, yeah, really good work, Lewis. Um, you're killing it, you're absolutely killing it. If you're watching this, you're doing a really great job, so just continue what you're doing. And if any other students are watching this and you wanna share some success that you've been doing at the minute, I know we always put it in the group, just send me a personal message as well, and you wanna get showcased on the YouTube channel, I'm more than happy to chuck them up on here. Um, anyway, let's get into the bulk of the video, what we're actually here to do today is go through the software that I use for my social media marketing agency. This will also cross, cross over into my personal brand as well because I use a lot of the same stuff for that. Um, but yeah, I get, I get asked this a lot. Um, I get messages on Instagram all the time about asking kind of what software I use, what schedulers I use, what payment processes I use. So I thought I'd make a video just to combine the whole lot. I'm not gonna be going in depth into each bit of software and giving you tutorials because I could make a video for each of these bits of software. Um, but I am gonna cover exactly what it is I'm using. Using. So without further ado, let's hop onto the Mac. First of all, I'm on Google Chrome. If you just wonder what this is, I actually forget what this app is. It's just like some, some weird app for, not some weird app, but it's just some app for um, when I open up a new tab, gives me a time and a quote or whatever. Um, right, so starting off with productivity. I've done a video on this before. A, an app that I use or a bit of software that I use to keep me productive is Trello. Now I have a whole video of this on my YouTube channel, so go check it out if you don't know what Trello is. Now Trello is what I use to keep on track of all of my daily tasks, to keep on track of my client tasks, to keep on track of my team, um, about projects that I'm working on at the moment. It's just my productivity tool where I keep absolutely everything and it keeps me on track. Now just very quickly, I'll just show you this. So on Trello, you have a number of, I think they're called cards and you can completely personalize this. It can be however you want it to be. So I've got a notes area, I have my projects here. I have today's tasks, I've got future tasks, I've got tasks that are waiting for input and I've got a complete folder as well. And you can create cards at any point. So if I've got a project right now, so create ads for Brewer's Steakhouse. I don't actually work with a Brewer's Steakhouse by the way. Um, 
and I can create that task there and it can, I can keep it, I can add labels. Again, this is not an in-depth video, I do have a full video of this on YouTube and I actually have the whole template that I use, so my to-do list template on that video, so go check that out if you are interested in it. But Trello is what I use for all of my pro productivity needs and to keep me on track. Um, I then use Dropbox. Now, Dropbox is what I use um, for files, um, for both file storage for myself and for files to getting files over to my team and also from my clients to me. So the actual Dropbox account I've got live now is my team account. So I've got Mary, I've got Mark, I've got Gary. Um, these are all people within my team um, and I send them over content that they need. They send me over content and it's just a way for us to all share content and share files that we need to trade between us instead of having to email them over individually and everything getting messy. It can just be nice and organized uh, and we can create subfolders within that. Now I think it's like 10 pounds a so it's very cost effective and it's a really easy way to do file sharing. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, now I also use this for my clients as well. So I have a Dropbox account for my clients. I'm obviously not going to get it up now, um, but my clients send me over all their content. As you guys will know, uh, my clients are responsible for the content that we use on their pages. I'm not responsible for their content. So they send me over, or they upload all of their content into a Dropbox folder every single month. I have one folder for each of my clients and they just chuck content in there and my team will go on there and take that content off and then schedule it in. Uh, so that's Dropbox. Now talking about scheduling, uh, the scheduling software that I use is called Buffer. Um, so I think there's like Hootsuite and loads of other scheduling softwares. Buffer is the one I use. It's very, very easy to use. Again, very, very cost effective. Again, this is my personal branding page up at the moment. This is my personal branding account. Um, so you can upload any of your social channels or all of your clients' social channels. So here I have my Instagram and I have my Facebook. And very, very simply, you can schedule all of your content just using this one piece of software. They've got a really good mobile app as well, um, which I have on my mobile phone. Um, so you can schedule on the go and you can keep track of things on the go. <coughs> I'm sorry, I have a tickle in my phone. Um, so yeah, I mean, just showing you very, very quickly, again, I'm not going through all of this software individually, uh, but if I wanted to share something on my Facebook page, I would just very simply put in here, what do you want to share? I can type a status, so hey guys, and I can add an image or a video of any sort. I can then tick face, um, Instagram, so easy, so I can just have it sharing on both platforms, and then I can add this to queue. Now, I haven't actually written any content in there. I need to include some kind of image. Let's see what I've got. What oh. are you thinking? Oh no, I don't want to share that. Um, okay, I've just got some random image here. So if I want to share this image, come on, come on, come on. It's gonna finish up. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward this to when this is actually done. Okay, sorry, not sure what went on there. I mean, it's playing up at the minute. Um, so we've got the image uploaded and you can then uh, customize it for each network if you want. So you can choose for the content to be different on different platforms. And then we can add it to the queue. So you can set your queue, so you can set the days and times that you want to post and it'll automatically add those, uh, those images or content into that schedule for you. So if you want to, you can upload like 10 images or 10 videos with their captions, hit add to queue and it'll automatically set them in designated days and times that you've assigned on Buffer. Or you can put it manually so you can share now or we can share next or we can schedule the post for a date and the time and we can just hit schedule. I'm not going to do so because I don't want that to post uh, randomly on my page. Now one thing I also really like is uh, what I do with my team on here is I have posts that we have scheduled and my team have to basically send me posts to approve. So when I am using, I'm, I'm quite an anal person, when I'm posting on Instagram, when I'm posting on Facebook, I want to make sure that my posts are perfect. So I give my team full reign of my personal channels, so my Instagram and my Facebook, um, but they can schedule posts and I have to approve them until they actually get posted. So as you can see here, this tab, we've got waiting approval. These are a few posts that I haven't got round to yet that Mary, um, one of my team members, has uh, scheduled in for me. She's written the content, she's uploaded the picture, and all I need to do now is kind of edit the content, hit approve, and it's gonna go straight into my queue. So that's the reason I, I really, really like Buffer, um, and it's very, very easy to use. So Buffer is what I use for all of my clients and all of my personal branding needs and all of my posting on Instagram and Facebook. Facebook and any other social channels that you want to use. Um, so that's my scheduler. We then have a content creation tool and that is canva.com. It's a really, really great free 
online content creator, um, whether that's infographics, whether that's advert, I mean, it's everything. I mean, you can see here on the template, there are tons, well, hundreds, if not thousands of templates which you can use to create online graphics. Um, just really, really, really good tool. The free version is great. The pro version is even better, but there's not a math, massive difference between the two. Um, so for instance, if you're logging onto Canva, you can click on find template and let's just say we want to make a Facebook post. I mean, this tool is so, so good. Um, so let's just find something here. We've got a Facebook post, we've got a charity bake sale. So here we go. I mean, it's already coming up with scenarios for you. We can then use this template and edit this template as it is. We can change the text, we can change the font, we can move everything around. I'll see if I can show you this live. I mean, it just does away with the need to teach yourself Adobe Photoshop um, unless you want to go kind of more in depth and you want to really kind of dive into content creation. But when you're first starting out, this is such a good tool. Um, so charity bake sale, and um, we can change this here to Hardy's calf. I don't know Hardy's calf, but just to show you um, how easy this is to use. I mean, this background image you can change. You can change the colour of this text. You can you can change everything. We can move everything around. We can scale it. We can change uh, add graphics. We can change the layout if we want to. So it just really it's, it's just a really good tool. Um, it's a really great content creator. So. If you are first starting out on your journey or you've got clients already, you're looking for ways to create dynamic ads, um, interesting engaging ads, and you're running out of ideas, get on Canva because you've got the amount of times this, this thing has saved me on kind of inspiration. So uh, yeah, that is my content creator. We then have my payment processors. So I use, use Stripe and I use PayPal. Both of them for the same and different reasons. Stripe I use generally to um, to manage all of my client payments. So I've got a video again on YouTube going through how to set up automatic payments. You can set up automatic payments on Stripe. The fees are really low and it's just a really easy way to, to process payments and reoccurring payments with clients. Um, and you can just very easily or automatically actually do this. It will automatically transfer that money from Stripe into your business bank account. Uh, I then have PayPal, um, which I use for things like coaching calls. I, it's integrated on my website. Um, some people pay for my course via PayPal. Some of them do pay via Stripe as well. Very rarely do I take client payments through PayPal because PayPal has much larger fees. So generally, it's just things like coaching, personal branding stuff, which go through PayPal. And also, I pay lots of my staff via PayPal as well, my team members, because my team members generally are international, and PayPal is the easiest way to get money over to them without paying astronomical fee so PayPal's what I use for that and they just send me over invoices every month and I then pay them invoices very very easy to use then finally I use free agent now free agent is a bit of accounting software it's software that I use to keep track of all of my accounts now if you're new in business and you like this new world of expenses and receipts and I mean I've got so many just chucked in my drawers everywhere um, if you're new to business, accounting can get very, very daunting and paying an accountant to do absolutely every for you, everything for you can be quite expensive. And so me being me, I wanted to keep track of everything myself. I do have an accountant, but I wanted to keep track of all of my expenses. I wanted to keep track of all of my taxes. And Free Agent is a very, very easy bit of software for you to use, web software, um, to keep track of all of your accounts, all of your um, expenses, all of your receipts, all of your taxes, and um, even your invoicing to clients if you're doing kind of manual invoicing. Voicing. It's just a really, really great bit of software and you can keep track of all of the money you've got in your bank account and your combined accounts as well. So basically, a free agent can link in. Let's say you've got a Barclays business account. You can link your Barclays business account to free agent and you can actually see kind of live how much money you've got in your account and you can link all of your accounts like your PayPal and Stripe and all of that um, and just keep track of everything all in one place straight from the mobile app. You can be eating business lunch and you can take a picture of your receipt straight from lunch and and upload it onto your accounting software and it'll automatically link in with your government so either HR revenue and customs in the UK or I don't know who it is in the US and uh, you can sort out all your payroll and everything on there as well so how I pay myself my dividends and all of that fun stuff um, but that is what I use free agent for and that is in a nutshell all of the software that I use, the main pieces of software that I use for my social media marketing agency. I hope that this has been useful. As I said, I mean, I cannot go into, I mean, this video would be hours long if I went into each of these individual pieces of software and really kind of ran into them. I'm sure there's loads of videos about these individual bits of software all over YouTube. If you do want me to make videos about individual parts of this video, let me know. I'd be more than happy to do so. Um, 
But yeah, I hope you got value from this video. I'm gonna put links down below of every single one of these softwares. Um, I don't actually think that any of them have affiliate programs, so none of them will be affiliate links, um, unfortunately. Uh, but I'm just gonna put them down there anyway, and hopefully you're gonna get value from that. I'm actually gonna do a video on my hardware hopefully next week. So I've done my software, I'll do my hardware, like my camera I'm using, my tripod, my microphone, my Mac, my what I use when I go to meetings, my lighting setup, my lenses. I'll go through all of my hardware, so hopefully you can get tons of value from that as well. Um, if you've got any questions, as usual, drop them down in the comments, smash that like button, make sure you're, make sure you're subscribed with your notification bell turned on, and uh, yeah, I'll be back again next week. Cheers, guys.